everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and tonight I thought I would talk a little bit about trading education. Obviously I teach people how to trade the market. If you've ever heard of me you know that. Uh, my company is called the Stock Swoosh and I do think that it's really important for people to know what they are doing before they place a trade or take any risk in the market. It's very easy to lose money in the market if you don't know what to do. That being said, if you do know what to do, you put the odds in your favor to make money, which is the reason and is the goal that many people decide that they want to take trades or risk money in the market. And whether you are doing active day trading or whether you're doing long-term investing um, or whether you're doing swing trades or options trades where you're in trades for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, it's still important to know what you're doing. So many people will listen to stuff or read articles or even watch TV and do things willy-nilly all over the place without really considering any education with what they're doing. Um, and I do think that it is extremely important to know what you do before you take a trade, uh, except for a lot of people don't think like that. Um, just based on my experience, I'm telling you it's important. Before I ever did any live trades in the market, I actually took a class. I only ever did one class, but it was before I ever placed a trade live. Unfortunately, that class did not teach me how to make money, but it did teach me a basic foundation, which I learned a basic foundation of technical analysis, which I used then to teach myself and create my own system and strategy, which took me about three years. So my system teaches people a method to trade for the idea of profit. There's many, many educational trading courses out there that teach you information. Some is good, some is bad. Some teaches you information that you can't use to make money. People think that they're taking the class and they're going to learn how to make money, but you don't really learn how to make money. And I think the genius in my class, the golden gap in my system, is that you actually learn something that you can utilize in the market for the purpose of profit, because that is the goal. And even though trading is fun, and even though reading charts is fun, uh, making money is more fun. Um, and the most fun. And obviously you wanna have a good outcome when you're taking trades, because even if trading's fun, it's really not fun if you're losing. So the goal has to be that you're doing well with this and it's serving a purpose and you're getting somewhere with it and, um, and you're moving forward with it, okay? So if you'd like more information, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or LinkedIn, or even Skype. So why education is the only choice? Because you won't know what to do when a difficult situation comes up. You won't know what to do when any situation comes up where it's not readily accessible and available to see the direction the stock's gonna go. And this is a good example here because I'm not even gonna tell you what this is because it doesn't even matter. This could be ABC stock. But if you look at this here, you, the chart's pretty ugly looking is the point I'm trying to make. You would say, do I short this? Do I go long this? What do I do? How do I make money doing this? I mean, it's really kind of crappy. It was a long, I will tell you. It was a long, it was a profitable long, but it wasn't easy. And it wasn't easy even to discern what it was going to do, even on the live day. And, and so looking back, I mean, you could say, well, whatever with this, but even looking back, it's, it's just a messy chart. So long story short, Education is the only choice if you want to be successful. And success has to be your goal. And success in reference to trading means making money. It means predicting where something's going to go before it does it. And not guessing. Guessing is what a lot of people do. First they go long, then they short. Or first they short and then if it doesn't work, they go long. Or they take it and they kill it and they flip it around. Or they do something called scalping, which I don't do and I don't recommend and I don't teach, okay? Um, and again, we don't trade penny stocks. We trade stocks you know of. Some are cheap, some are expensive. Nothing is though a dollar a penny stock level. Um, there are things that you would know, companies you would be familiar with, okay, that have volume. So let's talk a little bit about value of education. And again, this is my belief system and it always has been. It was before I even started my own business because as I said before, I myself took a class before I ever risked any money in the market. And I practiced what I learned in that class right after it. And like I said, I got a basic technical analysis background, which helped me develop my own system, but it wasn't enough. And it was too many different things to look at and too many different strategies. And what I took away from that is, again, the idea that being focused is important because the class that I had taken was not focused. It was looking at a million different things, too many things, which a lot of people get caught up in. 
So the value in education is really just quite frankly simple. You will save yourself both time and money which are important in your life. Time is so important. My God, is it important. When you make the choice to trade, you do so risking your own capital, your hard-earned money. The choice to trade without the proper education does not have high odds of achieving a, achieving a positive outcome, okay? The choice is you've got to learn. That is the highest choice that you can make for yourself. You're taking care of yourself. It's like if you were sick, you'd go to a doctor, you would sleep, you would rest, you would drink a lot of fluids, you would take your vitamins. You've got to make the highest choice for yourself. Take care of yourself. Make the intelligent choice to learn first. Why? Because you want to be successful, okay? So education is part of every professional career path. You want to be a doctor, you want to be an attorney, uh, anything that you want to do in any type of profession. You want to be a CPA, you have to go through the ropes, you have to learn, you have to educate yourself properly. So there's value in education if you want to get ahead and you want to succeed and you want to make a lot of money. I mean, nobody ran out, you know, in a week and became a doctor. It's not realistic. Some careers are longer in the process of education and teaching and learning and costs than others. But I think the benefit of the market is that you can speed up that process from day one to success or to making it by just full on throwing yourself into it, say, I'm going to learn it. I know I have to pay for education. I know I'm going to need a mentor. I'm going to follow it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump in with two feet full on. Many people just dribble, 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 dribble. In fact, some people even think they're going to know how to trade by just watching my videos on YouTube, uh, which although they're fun and sometimes they're interesting and you learn tidbits, you're never going to really learn the system that I know that can create the success that you desire to learn the skill set that I have unless you do the Golden Gap course. So understand there's a value in education. Understand it takes time. Understand there's a cost. And understand that if you really want to be successful. And if you don't, then I guess I have to say, well, then why are you risking money in the market? You know, I mean, I just think it's kind of like a waste. You're better off going to Atlantic City and gambling for a night of fun. Have a good night out. Go have a glass of wine, a steak dinner, and go see a show and go gambling in Atlantic City. Just have a good time. I mean, what's the point of getting up in the morning or trading or even stressing yourself out or looking at charts or spending any time at all? watching videos or going to free webinars if you're not going to take it seriously. So it's very important to take it seriously. I mean, at least that's always been my attitude. Okay. And I'm sure if you've been in this process, you understand what I'm talking about, the back and forth that many people have endured, um, which takes an emotional toll on you and a financial toll as well. But really, it's the emotional toll. Some people are attempting to trade for years without really jumping into it head first. And it takes a toll on you you start to lose confidence and conviction in the market as well if you do that. So your confidence will increase more once you start to do it, learn something that works and make money. It's the consistency which helps really your confidence and the conviction. Anyways, if people are not trading as a career, part-time or investing, they think education is not important. But the fact is that's wrong. So you have people on the sidelines, oh, I do this on the side. It's important whether you're doing this and nothing else or this and something else. It's important either way because you're still risking money and you don't want to lose. You want to win. Okay. I mean, that is the goal. You have to think like a successful person. You have to think with a winning attitude. You have to think that you desire and want to win. And you're going to put all of the things in your favor that you need to do in order to win. Okay. Like line it all up, line up all the bottles in a row, everything that you need to do. So education helps you have longevity no matter what your time frame in the market. Again, whether it's day trading, whether it's swing trading, whether it's options, whether it's long-term investing, it's a chart of this buy, the market's been rallying. It doesn't really matter what your time frame is, although you should know that, but education helps you for longevity. Even if you just have a retirement account and you want to take a better look at it, because a lot of stockbrokers are not chart readers. They make money whether you win or lose, and they suggest things for investments, but they really don't have a strategy. Very often, many of them have no idea even how to read a chart. So the fact is that you have to take stock of your own personal retirement account. I mean, a lot of people, I mean, after 2008 and 2009, I mean, people should know this, because if you had a 401k back then, I mean, my God, people got clobbered. And even last year in December, so many people exited the market, and guess what? They're not back in. 
They're not back in and they're going to miss the next rally and when the market goes over the high because they have stockbrokers giving them terrible advice, some people. So if it's your money, you ought to take stock of it yourself and get responsible and take charge of it. So in the end, you got to think of it as a bigger picture. What is the bigger picture here? It would be great to say, well, do, 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 but sprinters lose in the market. I'm not talking about fast trades. I'm talking about trying to make it like that, cheap and quick. I get all the emails, the crazy emails people get. Oh, you take $500 and make 100 grand in 30 days. That's not realistic. That is not realistic at all. Just like it's not realistic to watch videos for free and never pay for education and learn how to make money and do it and consistently and turn it into a career for yourself. So again, you have to think with longevity. So value-driven education is what is important and what you should be looking for when you're assessing different classes. It has to be about the value. Are you getting value out of education? Is the information you're learning in the class worth more than you are actually paying? Okay? Or is it worth less? Gosh, I get these crazy emails where people say, I got one the other day. It was literally, I was, I was laughing so bad I was almost crying. I was talking to a friend on the phone about it. It was like, it, it, it says something like 90% off. 90% off? <laughs> Why not just give it away for free? It was something, if you sign up, you get 90% off or 70% off. I don't know. It was something so ridiculous. I said, why don't they just give it for free, 90% off? <laughs> when things are so ridiculous or so cheap. Oh, I know what it was. It was some ad, because I'm working on the website. I'm working with this digital marketing company. It was some ad. I know what it was. <laughs> it was something that said, <laughs> oh, my God, I'm going to start crying right now. It was, it was like $1,500, but if you pay right now, it's only $295 or something. It was something, it was, it was, I swear to God, that's what it was. It was like that. And, and I was laughing so bad, I was crying. I was like, what? I mean, when you see things like that, it should just be a red flag with flashing warning signs that whatever you're paying, if it's $2 or $295, it's probably absolutely worthless. So don't waste your money. You're better off again going out for a steak dinner and having a good time. So you have to think about what you're paying for. Is it worth paying for? Because even if it's what you would consider not cheap and maybe even expensive, it may well be worth it rather than wasting money on cheap, 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 which is worthless and that can add up. And also it's still just a waste. Okay, it's paying $295 or whatever that silly thing was is a waste of $295. I could buy a beautiful pair of earrings for that. Um, so just don't waste your hard-earned money on, on, on things that are worthless. So you got to consider the value you will receive from the cost of a class versus paying the cost to the market and to things that make no sense or seem too good to be true. So classes are better money for the value rather than straight out losses to the market. And don't be looking for things that give ridiculous deep discounts that makes no sense and the information is probably worthless because things that are actually worth money, good information costs. I'm just telling you that and I know that because my information costs real money and it is worth it. And you have to think about that. It's This is about the world and understanding how things work and the market itself and information and the value of that information that you're actually paying for. And also, I get this all the time, what, what does the market owe you? People say, well, I've been trading for 10 years and I've been losing and do 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 Well, I know, I can hear that story every day when I talk to people. But the fact is the market doesn't really owe you anything at all. And the market doesn't know who you are. The market is just there. It's there every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, with the exception of holidays. It doesn't owe you anything. It takes money from some, it pays others. It mostly pays the people that are very, very smart and bright and understand that education is important, understand they need a system, understand they need consistency. I mean, every once in a blue moon, somebody will do something stupid or pay a, someone that's a dumbass in the market, but that's rare and doesn't work consistently. So keep that in mind. And I say that also when I'm talking about trading things like penny stocks and stuff like that is absolute crap. The market doesn't owe anyone at all. Be smart, be wise, think about this. I mean, for real, okay? The market really doesn't owe you anything. And it wants to pay people that are very up, up here, if you could see my hand. It doesn't want to pay people that are down here. And I'm talking about the people that are smart and bright. It doesn't necessarily mean the people that are rich. Although people that are wealthy, 
tend to be smart about their money. I'm making a generalization, but I'm saying in general, I've, I've found, okay, the more wealthy people I've met, sometimes they are conservative, meaning they understand very basic things like get an education before you risk money in the market. Whereas people that, again, will believe something where you can take $500 and make 100 grand in 30 days, people want to believe that, but that's not realistic. The market doesn't owe you that. It doesn't owe you anything at all. You have to think like in terms of reality, okay? What is realistic? What can you realistically, you know, take per trade, per day, per week, per month to risk? And how much can you take and earn and make from that? And again, be realistic with it, okay? It's not that you can't have one great trade here or there, and it's not that you can't move forward and build up your account. Yes, you can, you can, but it takes time and there's nothing wrong with that. And again, the market doesn't owe you some huge massive trade that's gonna pay you back losses that you've had for the last 10 years in the market by doing dumb stuff. And very often I talk to people and they know they've done dumb stuff. Well then just stop doing the dumb stuff. And it's dumb to keep trading if you don't know what you're doing, okay? And it's also important not to be in denial don't be in denial. Don't say you know how to trade when you don't. If you knew how to trade, you would be successful. You would make money and you probably wouldn't even need to talk to me or email me or come to any of my webinars or even watch this video. It's the best thing you could do is be honest with yourself. Be responsible. Okay. Like you were giving advice to somebody that was maybe a friend. All right. Anyways, let's talk a little bit here about the naysayers. So who is a naysayer? One who frequently engages in excessive complaining, negative banter, and or a generally poor and downbeat attitude. Naysayers are distinguished by their tendency to consistently view the glass half empty, making frequent one-way trips to negative town, and constantly emphasize the worst of a situation. They have the capacity to rant and whine for hours on end about the most insignificant inconveniences. This is funny. They tend to travel solo, but have the keen ability to spread their pessimistic attitude to a group of unsuspecting bystanders and encourage others to employ their mindset. <laughs> Naysayers tend to blend in with those around them rather well. Granted, they have learned over the years to adapt to their surroundings, sucking in more naysayers. However, when the opportunity arises, their true nature will be exposed and they will stop at nothing to exclude others from bringing a general sense of negativity to any situation. Not to be confused with non-naysayers who fight against the negativity brought forth by naysayers, make the best of a situation, or are not afraid to call it a naysayer in the spot. It's interesting. I don't know why, but traders tend to go right down this negative path when things start not to work for them, and then everything is negative. Negative, 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 negative. And again, don't let it snowball for yourself. If you feel like you're getting on this road to negative town and becoming a naysayer, then take stock of it. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I have to stop this craziness. Because I'm telling you, it can snowball. And then you will attract negative and pessimistic people into your life. You need a positive attitude. Having that alone will not make you successful, but it will definitely help. And being negative will work against you. So guess what? Don't work against yourself. You can do that for yourself tonight for free. Work to help yourself. Don't work to hurt yourself, okay? So what the market thinks of people who want proof, this is really funny because in general, that what I just described, I've come across people like this often in the last, you know, I don't know how many years, seven years or plus since I've had the stock swish business, people that want guarantees, they will never get them from the market. That's not, again, realistic. It's the same thing with people having these expectations that don't meet the criteria for the amount of money they have to risk in the market or the education that they fail to have or the lack of understanding that they have about trading their charts or the market. And if, if people want proof of they want guarantees, the market's never going to give that. And that's not realistic either. So know this, what it is, accept it for the, what it is, accept the market for what it is. Understand that every time you take a trade and the reason that I teach people to put in stops, which I, I mean, I've never, I've never not used stops. I mean, to be honest with you, whether it's 7,000 shares or 700 shares, I've always firmly believed in using stops. It's just, it's just what it is because there's no guarantees. There's no guarantees. I can I can say, well, I have conviction this is gonna work, it rates well, everything else, but sometimes a trade doesn't work. So putting a stop in helps you. It protects you, it's like the insurance. Why? Because there's no guarantees. There's no guarantees no matter what you do. And that's also why it's important to get out of money in a trade when you're up. It's never over to the fat lady sings. 
I mean, sometimes I'm up in a train and the train looks great and I don't get out and then it gets stopped and it doesn't go where I think. Now, luckily, that doesn't happen that often, but every once in a while it does and it reminds me of how the market is and how it works and how you have to take profits when you're up. And it's not about being a piggy. It's about taking what you can from the market day after day after day after day. I call it chunking it out. The most important thing you can do to get over this negative naysayer guarantee proof kind of nonsensical thinking is pretty much being willing to take risks and if that doesn't fit with your personality, then trading isn't for you. I mean, I just flat out say that's what it is. But I often find that people are better in their mindset once they start to be consistently profitable. They're better with risk. The problem is that many people that feel the need for these things have lost so much money in the market or in classes that didn't teach them anything, that they have such a negative attitude that they feel like they need this, they feel unsafe, they feel in fear. And if you're at that place in your life, then maybe you need to take a step back and you need to step away from the market because you'll just keep digging yourself a bigger hole. You must change your attitude. There's nothing better to do that than profits, but in order to join my class and do my system and everything else, you gotta learn the class, you gotta pay. You gotta pay for my information and to join or the newsletter. So it's one of these things where Consistency Green helps this, helps you have a positive attitude, but if you can't get to the point where you can be willing to spend money for something else, then I'm telling you step back because you will dig yourself a deeper hole if you have this kind of belief system. But if you do and you can't turn it around, then again, trading really isn't for you because you have to be willing to take risk. You must take risk if you want to be successful. You have to do this no matter what you do. So, I mean, to me, I said this the other day, listen, if you got to work for a living and you have to do something, you may as well make a lot of money. If you have to do something, then you may as well do something you want to enjoy. If you have to work, if you have to support yourself, my God, do something you enjoy, do something you like, do something you can earn a good living. Do something where you can earn more money over time, not less. Do something where you can work from home and quite, and quite frankly, do something where you can work for yourself. I mean, if you have to work, if you're not just rich as all get out, if you weren't born into money, if you, if you have to support yourself, if you have to pay your own bills, if someone is not supporting you, if you are not independently wealthy just as it is, then if you got to work, then my God, just get over it and realize that you were going to have to take a risk. And if you want to get ahead and you want to make more money or you want to do a different job or a different career, you are going to have to take a risk. That means spending money. That means spending time. That means maybe going through some emotional things for yourself. And even when it gets you like where you feel like you want to give up, that is the very, very moment at the very point in time where you can't give up, where you must keep going. I'm sorry to say it, but that is the point and that is when it is true. And a lot of people get to that point and then they quit, but you can't. Just like this guy here. Now he can quit in midair if he does, the chances of him making it back into the bowl and starting all over again, well, that could happen. Or what if he slips and falls and he falls down here? He's dead. So, I mean, just, he's got to keep going. He's almost there. He can see the top of the other bowl. And freedom, freedom inside when he gets to the top and he gets in here. And that is obviously where you want to take the leap, okay? So you've got to be with the current of the market, not against it, which is understanding how the market works, how trading works. And again, you know, like we were talking about earlier, using stops, assessing the fact that it's about high probabilities, taking good quality trades. I mean, some trades are better than others, let's face it. But either way, the market will collect the tax to enroll from you either way. The market will, at some point, you, you, will, you won't... You won't teach yourself how to trade without ever losing money in the market and never paying for a class. It ain't going to happen. So if you really want to do this, if you want to take it seriously, you're going to have to trade real money, go through the process of teaching your own system and creating your own system yourself, which could take years and hundreds and thousands of dollars or and a lot of emotional turmoil, or you are going to pay someone to learn. There is no free toll, okay? And every year the toll goes up because the people that are doing well seems to be less and less of them or they're charging more as the market becomes more challenging, meaning more black boxes, uh, more, more types of algorithmic trading in the market, uh, more competition out there for taking positions in things. 
and it becomes a very different environment for people than it used to be years and years ago, okay? So, I mean, you're not gonna be any better off if you wait because the toll is going up. So you can make your path hard or you can make it easy, whatever, whatever you want to do. So I say again, make it as easy on yourself as you can and be positive. You can also make the path long or short. I, I have people that have been following me since 2012. It's hard to believe, but it's true. I don't know. I mean, they, they've never done the class. They like me. I don't know what the situation is. Everybody's in a different situation, but I find it very interesting how people just drag on and can't make decisions and procrastinate. I just don't think like that. But I mean, you know, I think that it, it, it is easier to shorten the path for yourself by learning and doing it. And, and the, the, as soon as you find me, I find the, the best chance of success for people is for people to join and learn it as soon as they find out about me. It's like the longer they take to think about it, I mean, I don't see how you're doing yourself any good. I just, it's very different for me to understand the way some people think about the way they procrastinate or take so long to make decisions. I'm a, I'm a very intuitive person. Those people that know me know that, but I mean, it doesn't take me a long time to make a decision. It's, it, you know, I'm not saying I'm black or white, but I'm saying I'm very intuitive and I know when I want to do something and I know when I don't want to do something. Um, and I think if you're in touch with yourself, if you're in touch with what you desire out of life and what you want for your goals, it'll be a lot easier for you to make decisions quickly rather than taking a long time. But my God, don't make excuses, okay? Um, I've heard all of these things before. I don't need the class of making money trading. What I'm doing works, blah, blah, blah. If that was the case, then they people wouldn't be calling me. Um, so it, again, it, it, it is important to just be honest with yourself. If you make money one day, that doesn't mean you're making money. It means consistently, week after week, month after month, year after year. And a lot of people are on the roller coaster path. They're up, they're down. They have a good month, they're happy. They have a bad month, they're in a bad mood. They want up and down, up and down. It's an emotional roller coaster and it's a financial roller coaster too. I will tell you though, if you want it bad enough, you will take the necessary risk to do a class like mine without knowing the exact outcome, because you're not going to get the information until you do it, and also knowing that education is the correct path. Again, you know, would you go and go to a doctor and have them perform a surgery on you if they were not educated and didn't know what they were doing? Hell no, you wouldn't. It'd be crazy. So why would you give your money to someone that doesn't know how to trade it? I mean, or make money or invest for you, which is what you're doing to yourself. So you're giving your money essentially to a stranger that doesn't know what they're doing when you take your own money and take trades in the market. That's really how you have to think about it because that's really what you're doing. And it's like you're going to a doctor and you're letting them perform a surgery on you without ever having going to school. So don't do it. Don't give your money to yourself like you're a stranger and don't let someone operate on you and perform an operation that has never even gone to medical school. All right? It's about getting a reality check. If you don't want it bad enough, to invest a weekend in my class, the time, the money, the cost, the market's never going to pay you. Even if it does one day or one week, it's never going to do it over the long haul. And that's what counts. And by long haul, I mean even in, in the next 30, 60 days. You want to see progress for yourself, okay? You want to see it clearly. When I, when I look at a chart, very often I see things clearly. And if I don't, then I step back and the chances of me doing anything in that specific chart is probably zero because I don't see it clearly. And that's what the Golden Gap system teaches me when I do the rating. It helps me see it clearly, okay? It puts it all just there for me. And that's how, again, I got to the point where I developed it and it also became intuitive as well. So the cost of a class versus learning live in the market. When you take a trading class, you're paying for the cost of the information. And when you trade live in the market, the class will be mistakes. These mistakes that happen in trades will far override the cost of a class, any class for that matter. The cost of a class is finite. You know what the cost is, you pay it, that's it, it's done. One cost and done. The cost of mistakes though in the market is infinite until you learn how to trade right. And it is an endless amount of money and that's how people get in these huge spiral money pits like black holes where they lose their whole accounts and they do it over and over and over and over. And they refund them and lose them and refund them and lose them and refund them and lose them over the course of years, okay? This concept is incredibly important to grasp and yet many people lose the concept and don't get it. They will believe money in the market over a period of time 
slowly and slowly and slowly rather than putting up the finite cost for a class, okay? And, and I, it's, I don't know why, but a quality trading course is like finding a diamond in the rough. There may not be a lot of quality classes out there. My class is one of them. My class is a diamond, a diamond in the rough. I'm a diamond in the rough of trade educators that are out there. And I say this from, from a, a, a different perspective, a unique perspective, because I've met a lot of people in the industry. Now I've been in the industry, like I said, for a long time, training for 10 plus years and teaching for seven plus years. I've met a lot of people on all sides of the spectrum some good, some bad, some evil. And I'm telling you, it's a diamond in the rough to find someone like me out there. I've said it for a long, long time that people that find me are meant to find me, meant to find me and meant to learn from me. But I'm telling you, it, you know, there's, there are tr classes out there, there are people out there that are worthless. I know it. But it doesn't mean that every person out there that has something to teach in every class out there is worthless. That's not true, okay? That's like saying... Uh, you know, every time you would go and take a trade in a certain stock, well, you could say, well, I'm just not doing this, this, this stock anymore. I'm just not trading this stock. It's hands off. That's not true. Sometimes something works. Sometimes something doesn't work. Okay. Sometimes you take a good class. Sometimes you take a class that isn't worth it. All right. You have to, again, understand the world and what it is and what the market is. And you just got to get your head around it. All right. Actually, another good example would be like if you're in a relationship, say, say you're in a relationship, a long-term relationship, and it doesn't work out. It doesn't mean you're never going to fall in love again. If someone breaks your heart, it doesn't mean you should never fall in love again. My God, you don't want to be alone forever. So you have to open your heart up, heal, and be willing to accept love into your life again. You'll meet someone new. Okay. Similar with trading education, educators and similar with systems and trading and classes. There's so much power, though, in information. It really helps you. If you know the right information and what to look for, it is like power. It's like, it's like worth infinite, billions, okay? Because you can use that information to profit. And again, all you have to do is grow your account and you grow your size and you risk more over time, okay? So think about it. Would you like to know how to build your own house or just buy one? You just think about it, you know, where you're at in the process. What if a big storm blows in? What will you do? If you're following somebody, find somebody, find somebody, but you don't know their strategy, you don't know their system, you don't know how they train, how are you going to be able to replicate it? You have to be able to understand the system in order to replicate it. It's about you and self-empowerment and doing this yourself for yourself, okay? Loving yourself enough to want to be successful too. And being willing to see through the muckety-muck of the negativity to see that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Remember, there's no magic indicators. No matter what you do, a lot of people are just, oh my God, they're so stuck on indicators. There's no magic indicator or magic machine with all the magic calls and answers. If there was, everyone would have it and own it and there'd be no market. There is magic in the market, but you must recognize what the magic is. It's the knowing, it's the understanding. The magic is in finding a good strategy and a good gap and a good educator like me with a good system like mine. This was Nike. This was a good call. I've had a million good calls. The market's probably one of the best I've had, though, really, because the market is challenging for many people to read, and I, I do a good job of it. I'm very focused, though, and it's experience. And again, doing this for a very long time and something specific, which is gaps. But it's the way that I analyze the gaps. It's the way that I read the gaps. And that, to me, is magical, how I can predict where something's going to go. And you can learn this, too. So the magic is in finding a good teacher like me, in a world in a sea of people where you're trying to sift through it all, if you've happened to come, if you're even listening to this video at all, then you are lucky because you have an opportunity and a chance to learn from me if you want to. The choice, obviously, is yours. The magic is in finding a huge success in a dream career if this is really what you want to do. If you love trading, the amount of time that you have to spend doing this in a week to me is like magic because, I mean, the previous career I had, it was seven days a week. And this is so much better. Just remember, accept the market for what it is. Come to a level within yourself, personally, that you accept the market for what it is instead of making it to be something that it is not. Or trying to force it to conform to what you want when you want it. Again, with the proof, the guarantees, this and that. Wanting the indicators. Wanting something for nothing. It's just not 
fair. The market isn't that way. You're not going to get lucky that way. You're not going to get rich risking again with an account with $500 making hundred grand in 30 days, okay? Once you come to accept and learn and know what the market is, it will give you all an ask to give and more. And then the world will open up to you. Once you change your perspective, okay? It is a lot about opening up your perspective. And that is part of being willing to take risk in life. It can pay off for you, but you have to be willing to understand how it works. The multiple times and ways the market will pay you will overflow with abundance. It will turn into many different opportunities for you. You'll have so many opportunities you won't know what to do with them. And also, it will create more because you will open up your mind. The longer you fight this acceptance, the longer the journey will be for you to see success. So think about what I'm saying, okay? This is a very good lecture. I hope everyone's still listening. Anyways, it's about value-driven education. Don't waste years of your life trying to make a little bit of money while you're actually losing money in commissions, trading rooms, and the market by taking plays and doing trades that are not of any value at all. Don't waste the time trading for months and years with no education, no strategy, and no conviction. You need to have a strategy, and you need to have conviction. So again, in order to win, you need to be educated in a good strategy. So you know whether to go long or short the stock. Having a strategy gives you direction for your day, for the trade, for all of it. So you, you really shouldn't waste time. Learn a good strategy. Follow it. And learn from a good mentor. Don't miss the boat of opportunity sailing by you, which, quite frankly, it's 2019, I believe, in the market. There's been a lot of opportunity. So start slow at the beginning if you're new. Learn the right way to do it. Start slow with your risk. Build it up. Like I said, chunk it out. You have to focus on your confidence. You have to focus on the consistency. You have to focus on learning at the beginning, and the money will come. One great system is really all you need to make money in the market, and one solid strategy is all you need to be profitable. That's all that I do, and it is even helped me read the market like this. I mean, incredible. Okay. So think about it. What is your job? Your number one job is what? to be a great trader. So focus on that. That is your job. That's gonna lead you to the success you want, be on the right path, and then the money will come. Money is the result of doing a job well. It's the same with anything you do if you had a regular career, all right? So learn how to do the job well. Learn how to become a professional trader. You don't wanna be a hack. I mean, it just isn't going to get you where you want to be. You have to really take it on. So my class is called the Golden Gap Course. It's a course on how to strategically find, pick, and place stocks that are professional bearish gaps. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate each gap to trade each morning. The system teaches 26 points to rate the gap in the daily chart, chart of a stock to determine which gap to play in the day. Okay. So my class is called The Golden Gap. Upcoming class is April 13th and 14th. Class tuition is $59.99 US dollars. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you want to sign up. And I have a couple other classes I could be doing some soon here in the next couple of months in May and June. Wealth Manifestation, which is very interesting for people. This is a class on how to manifest wealth and abundance in your life and your trading. It's a great class. This is a powerful course that will transform your outlook and your trading and your world. It is full of groundbreaking and intellectual information to assist anyone who is looking to evolve and recreate their world. If you desire to be more successful, then take the first steps today by signing up for this class. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to revitalize your trading your life. I think it's important to have the right mental attitude. That permeates a lot of my teaching. Um, I'll announce the date on this class soon, but it, it is a good class. Um, you will learn a lot in this course. I also teach the trends class that's coming up April 15th. It's a course on how to read trends in stock charts. The purpose of this class is to teach you how to read the proper direction on a chart. Short-term or long-term directions are steady. Is a trend bullish, bearish, and neutral? And in order to be successful taking positions in trades, a trader must be able to accurately read trends on multiple time frames. This is very important for swing traders or options traders, this class. Support and resistance is taught in great detail. The class focuses on reading price action with detailed technical analysis in order to determine a chart's trend. This class is advanced. So I suggest the Golden Gap course, then the trends. And then if you do the Golden Gap course, you are eligible to join the live trading room. The stocks was trading room is Monday through Friday, 8.30 to usually about 10.30, 11 a.m. Eastern time, whenever we're done. It focuses on results. 
Uh, it's a live trading room that focuses on gaps, gaps only. It's closed off. I'm in charge. I make the calls, me and only me. Room hours are 8, 30, 11 a.m. Eastern time or whenever we're done. If we're done at 10, we're done. Live gap trades are called with extreme detail and focus on accurate entries and targets, which I call live. Losses are kept to a minimum and winners are allowed to run. You can get out faster if you want to, but I do give the targets. Each morning, a daily watch is provided pre-market along with the market analysis. I always do that in the morning. The purpose of the live trading room is to support traders during the live day, which is important, which obviously calling the trade. Someone asked me in a webinar tonight, do you need to join the room to trade the system? No, you can do the class and trade the system on your own. You learn the entries and the system in the class. I think the room is a good support system if you're new, but you don't need it. So a lot of people have done the class and they're not in the room, but it helps you right after, okay? So the stock switch teaches you everything you need to be a successful trader. That is very important. Again, the Golden Gap course for this month is April 13th and 14th. Class switch and it's $59.99. You can email me if you want to sign up. I'm Melissa at thestockswish.com. Or you can do the Golden Gap combo. Again, April 15th, it's a trend. It's $64.99. You save $500. You do Golden Gap Saturday, Sunday. And then Monday, you would do the trends course. Okay? Email me at Melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to sign up. Remember what I said, this is a good lecture. You've got to invest in yourself if you want to win. It's time and money, it is work, but in the end it's going to pay off. And it doesn't have to take a long time, but you have to understand, you have to be full on with it. You have to be committed to it. I think that's important and you want to give yourself the highest chances of success. And not only that, learning is fun. Learning is fun. And once you do something and you can prove to yourself that you can do it and you get better and you feel better about yourself and you feel more successful, it does amazing things for your confidence level. Even though the class costs money, you prove to yourself that you can take the information and turn it into good trades and solid trades and do it. You will feel so much better about yourself. It will open up your world and you'll feel more successful. And again, it will lead to other things. I'm telling you, whether it's a new career in trading or whether it's just feeling better about yourself and your life, okay? Questions, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. If you want to sign up for the upcoming Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.